Hi guys, and welcome to Skyrim Tweaks and Fixes Part 2. The first part of this series was about Z fighting, and the more observant of you will have already noticed the title of this video is More Z Fighting. Now, after I made the changes from the first video, a number of issues arose. The first one was that when I got close to near objects, as you can see, there's a sort of clipping issue where I can actually see through the objects. And that is due to one of the changes I made. So we're going to be having a look at that. But there is also a second issue. If you look at the mountains, they're flickering again. Now, what I have found out is that when you change your INI settings um, via the launcher, it unfortunately resets those values, which is really annoying, as you can imagine. So every time I change, if I go to the launcher and change any of the settings, whatever it is, act to distance, etc., it rewrites the terrain manager section of the INI file and your flickers back. So, we need to be aware of that because it's going to mean we need to put those values back in each time we change, which is, as you can imagine, annoying. If I find a solution for that, I will tell you all. So, once again, I'm going back to the Step Projects Z Fighting page and going down to part one the fixed part one, and of course I'm going to first of all need the Skyrim Prefs Inni, which as you can see I have got um, shortcut on my desktop to go straight there. If you don't know where to find it, see the first video for full details. And then I'm going to Control F, which is find, and type in Terrain, I think it was it Terrain Manager? Yes, Terrain Manager, find next, there we are. So this section, as you can see, no longer no longer looks like this section. One thing has actually changed since the last video in this section as well. The F block level one distance was set at 1.4 million, and that apparently was a typing mistake. So it has now been changed to 140,000. But once again, I'm going to grab that section, Control C, or if you want right click and copy and then select the same block in my Skyrim prefs inny and paste so that has pasted those values in that should now fix the Z flicker save so back in game and as you can see the flicker on the mountains very much reduced again once again, a lot better. So, as I say, you're probably going to have to do that every time you change your settings, which is annoying. But there you have it. You have to decide which is more annoying, the flickering mountains or having to change it in every time you open the launcher. I, I don't think it's if you won't open the launcher to start your game. I'm fairly sure you have to change some of the settings. So you have to go into options and change for example, grass distance or something. If you change anything like that, it resets your ini file under the terrain manager. But of course, the clipping is still there. So let's fix that now. Now, this clipping is actually caused by the second part of this fix, which was a change to the F near distance. Uh, so if I go to Skyrim ini, Again, if you don't know where that is, see the first video. I have got a shortcut on my desktop so I can open it directly from there. But if you don't know where that is, check the first video out. You should probably watch that one before this anyway. And go along and find the display section, which is here. And as you can see, F near distance 25. Now, luckily, this doesn't change when you change your options. So this is still 25. But apparently anything over 15 can give you glitches. So, I'm going to change it back to 15 for now and see what that does for us. So I've just saved it. So, here we are again, back again with the F near distance set to 15. And as you can see, no clipping. I can't get close enough for any clipping. 
but the flicker is slightly worse. It's not as bad as it was without the fix, but it is definitely more noticeable. So that's the trade-off. Now, you can actually increase those settings from 15 and increase them slightly and see if it improves the flicker but without getting as much clipping as I did with 25. So that's what I'm going to try now. So once again, open up the Skyrim INI file and I'm going to change the F near distance to 20 and try that. Save. Let's see how that looks in game. So this is with 20 and the flicker is still there, but it does seem improved. It does seem to be reduced slightly. But what about my clipping? Well, I... Oh, just right up in the top corner. Oh, no, and the bottom as well. But it's not as bad as you can see. I have to, I have to look at the corner of my eyes. It's just there, just visible. So as you can see, it's all about a balance. And basically, it depends which annoys you most. The clipping. See, the clipping here is almost not noticeable. I move a little. There you go. It's, you can see it just in the edge, whereas when it was set to 25, basically it clipped to about halfway across the screen. Now, this is with F near distance set to 18, and as you can see, the flicker is there, although it's just it's nowhere near as bad as when I was doing the uh, before the fix and the clipping I don't seem to be able to see any or maybe just just at the edge very briefly did I see some no so there you go for me 18 seems to be the sweet spot if I set it to 18 I don't get any clipping and the flicker is reduced Although, still there, but nowhere near as bad as before. If you remember, without this fix, the mountains were basically blinking as if they were under a stroboscope. Now, one thing you should be aware of, the field of vision you are using affects this clipping effect. So, the default field of vision, I believe, is 70 degrees in-game. But if you change that to 90 by going to the console and typing FOV space 90... As you can see, you've got a wider field of vision. But now, the clipping is back and worse than ever. So the wider FOV you use, the lower that number, that F near distance, is going to have to be. So in fact, if you're using um, FOV 90, uh, you may actually have to put in custom values for F near distance anyway, just to combat clipping. Mind you, with uh, Field of Vision 90, the mountain flicker is less visible because they seem so much further away. However, you should be aware of that if you are using a wide Field of Vision. Okay, well, I hope that helped. And, of course, I will bring you any updates to this issue and uh, other issues that I start to cover in this video series. Many of the sort of tweaks and fixes we are going to be doing are probably going to change and evolve as the series evolves. Uh, there is always new information, new patches, etc. So I will try to keep these videos up to date and put annotations in earlier videos so that you know uh, that you need to check up the latest information. Hopefully I will have a new Skyrim Mod Sanctuary out this weekend. I have a little bit more free time now and I will be doing the next part of my Let's Play any day now, so keep your eyes open for that. But whichever video you join me for, I look forward to seeing you guys then, and until then, have fun!